The country's boundaries exist in a variety of shapes and length. While the United States of America has a very straight horizontal border with Canada, some nations such as India and Bangladesh have crooked and confusing borders with multiple exclaves and enclaves. These boundaries are incredibly important for the country since they determine administrative reach and authority and also give a country shape. Namibia, a country in the African continent's southwestern region, is one of the continent's driest. It has a western boundary with the South Atlantic Ocean and a coastline length of 1,500 72 kilometers. It shares a border with South Africa in the south. It shares straight perpendicular borders with South Africa and Botswana in the east. It has a border with Angola in the north. So, this is Namibia, with its three neighboring countries sharing a border. No, it is not. Angola and Botswana are separated by a strange strip of land from Namibia's mainland. Namibia shares its border with Zambia as a result of this piece of territory. So, what is the significance of this oddly shaped piece of land being a part of Namibia? Let's see here at Stories Reveal. The Caprivi Strip commonly known simply as Caprivi, is a strangely formed strip of land. The strip rotated eastward for 450 kilometers from the northeastern tip of Namibia's landmass. It stretches all the way to Africa's famous Zambezi River, which runs from west to east. Caprivi's width ranges from 32 to 105 kilometers. Panhandle is the name given to such stretches of land that protrude from the mainland. The Caprivi Panhandle complicates the boundaries at this location in the Zambezi River. It connects Namibia with Botswana at the location of the eastern edge of Caprivi. The borders of Botswana and Zimbabwe also intersect at a single spot. It also takes Zimbabwe so near to Namibia with only 150 meters separating the two countries. Caprivi also forms a 150 meter long boundary between Zambia and Botswana. This huge bridge connects Botswana and Zambia. This condition also places the boundaries of four countries, Namibia, Zambia, Zimbabwe and Botswana within 75 meters of each other. This 150 boundary, which is about the height of a 50-story skyscraper, is critical. If this 150 meter boundary did not exist, Botswana and Zambia would be one country. As a result, despite the fact that it is located immediately on the river rather than on land, this 150 meter boundary is critical. This is also probably the world's smallest land border. Let us go back in time to discover what caused Namibia to have such an odd form of landmass. Germany has colonies in both the east and west of Africa. Namibia today is a remnant of former western German colony. Caprivi was named after German Chancellor Leo von Caprivi, who arranged the land's acquisition in a trade with the United Kingdom in 1980. Caprivi negotiated for the Caprivi Strip to be acquired by German West in Africa in order to provide Germany with access to the Zambezi River and a path to Africa's east coast, where the German East Africa colony was located. The territory transfer was part of the, the Heligoland Zanzibar Treaty of 1980, in which Germany gave up its stake in Zanzibar in exchange for the Caprivi Strip and the North Sea Island of Heligoland. To the astonishment of the Germans, the river subsequently proved unnavigable and inaccessible to the Indian Ocean and its West African possessions owing to the Victoria Falls, one of the world's largest waterfalls, which lies 65 km east on the point of the Cape Rivi Strip. During the discussions, the British side may have been aware of this troop. The Germans had little use for Cape Rivi since it was remote and inaccessible during the wet season. Following the failure of the mining expedition in 1909, Germany considered trading the strip for some other British territory, such as Welvis Bay. When the British transferred the land to Cape Colony in 1910, Germany was stuck with Cape Rivi for the remainder of its colonial existence. Cape Rivi had its own national song, flag, and coat of arms once, under South African authority in 1976. Until 1980, it was de facto under de facto supervision of the South African authorities in Pretoria. Following that, the administration was relocated to Windhoek, Namibia's current capital city. When Germany abandoned the colony, the Caprivi was annexed to Namibia. That is why this oddly formed panhandle is now part of Namibia. In summary, Caprivi exists because Germany was unaware of the Victoria Falls which were not navigable. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any video from our channel.